Hi, uh, it's Khalid, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to install PyTorch on Visual Studio. So let's just get right into it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is, of course, Visual Studio. So we're going to head straight to the downloads. And I, I mean, if you have professional enterprise, um, that's good for you, and all the software will work. Um, but in this case, I download the community edition, go ahead and download it, install it, follow the installer. It'd be a very simple process. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is Torch C++. So I'm going to go ahead in the tab and type PyTorch C++. Okay, and we want to get the second thing here. It says using PyTorch, using the PyTorch C++ front end. Once you click that, this is not what I wanted. All right, so we're going to scroll here until we get to installing C++ distributions. <clears throat> and we're going to click that and um, we're, we're going to take this link right here where it says contain the latest libtorch distribution on our website. So go ahead and click that. Uh, and we want stable windows. We're going to get libtorch here. It'll choose C++ Java and it'll ask you what CUDA you want. In my case, I'm not using any graphics card. Well, I have a graphics card. It's not an NVIDIA graphics card, so I will be choosing none. Um, <clears throat> now here you have a choice of choosing a release or debug version. Um, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to load the debug version, um, but the steps are very similar for release. So you can just go ahead and click this link and you'll download the a zip file. Once this is downloaded, we want to go on to Visual Studio. We're going to create a new project. And while a console app might make more sense, we're actually going to choose, we're going to type in CMake. We're going to build a load torch, load PyTorch C++ on a CMake project. I'm going to click next and let's create a name. I'll just call it demo PyTorch. And let's hit enter. So you'll notice here on the right side, uh, CMake project has two CMake lists. Uh, this output actually on the bottom right here is the CMake generation. So you're seeing it's detecting the compilers making sure it has everything necessary. So it looks like it finished properly. Uh, and just to make sure, we're going to go in here and we're going to open the C++. So it looks like um, all this does is, if it's CMake was built correctly, it should output Hello CMake. We're going to just go up here and there's this green play button. We're going to click and that right there will run your project. So it very quickly ran it. And sure enough, we get LOC make. Okay, so we're going to just press enter and that'll close that window. Now, we want to include PyTorch. So how do we do that? Well, uh, PyTorch can, is easily configured using CMake, which is the whole reason why we did a CMake project. So you'll notice in your file structure here, you have two CMake lists. You want to use the one that is inside your directory, inside the solution directory, which in this case, mine is demo PyTorch. Uh, and inside here, we want to tell CMake to find package. We want it to find Torch, and we're telling it that it is a required package. So if we save this, you're going to get an error here saying, oh, I couldn't find the package. Well, 
we didn't exactly tell it where to find the package. So the way to do that is you're going to see up here, I think by default this is either x64 or x86 debug. You want to click this drop down and click manage configuration. Um, in here, uh, there's a bunch of stuff but general. What we want to look for is right here, command argument, cmake, command argument. So what you want to do, uh, since I can't zoom in that cmake, uh, I've got this notepad here. So uh, let's do it. So we're going to type dash capital D. This tells CMake that this is an environment variable. And we're setting the environment variable CMake prefix path. So we're telling CMake, where should I look for torch? Um, and now we're going to open our folder. So the libtorch that you downloaded uh, will have something libtorch when shared with dependencies and debug or release and then with or without CPU. Uh, we want to go inside, open the libtorch folder, and then right click on the folder name here, and you can copy the address as text. Uh, so we want to put, we want to pass that address as a string. So I'm going to put double quotes and then the full string. So this right here is the full path for me. And what you want to do with your path is you need to escape all of these backslash characters. So wherever you see a backslash, add a second one. So we're going to do that all the way for everything. And all right, that looks to be it. So now we're going to copy this whole command here. Uh, and right where it says CMake command arguments, we want to paste that in there and click out. And that will be saved in the CMake settings. So now we can go back or control S to save. And if you look at the CMake build, uh, there is a line here that says found torch. So you want to make sure that you have that line. I mean, CMake uh, has looked at the path properly and it can find it. So now in our C, how do we make sure that torch works? Well, let's just create a simple tensor uh, and I'll put it to the screen. So what you need to work with torch modules um, for most of the stuff you can do torch slash torch dot h. Save that. And it's giving an error because we need to link the library. So we're actually not done with our CMake list. So up here on the right, we're going to click see make lists again. And this is inside your directory. Mine is demo PyTorch. So we found the package, which is great. But we actually need to uh, link the libraries. So to do that, we can we use target underscore link libraries. Inside, we give the name of our executable. So in my case, uh, Visual Studio set my executable name to demo PyTorch. So I'm going to say demo PyTorch. Um, and here we are going to pass in the torch libraries environment variable that is set when we call the find package. So this will link demo PyTorch. And save it and it looks like it went correctly and you'll see now the include is resolved that error is resolved uh, and here let's go ahead and remove this uh, let's output a new tensor so to create a random tensor we'll go torch rand n and inside, we are going to, let's just say, create a three by two tensor with random values, and then do an end line. All right, so once all that is done, 
let's go ahead and click the play button up here it's going to cmake is going to build and compile the program it's, it's compiled it did not find c10.dll okay which means i ah oh, yes so if you get that error um we want to go back to Firefox here uh, and we need to go back to that installing distribution. So PyTorch installing, and you see it's already here for me, but I'll just say installing C++ distributions. All right, and you want to go to this page from PyTorch.org, installing C++ distribution. And down here, the main thing is that the fall right here, so this is the top of the page, and this is the start of a CMake list file. We want to include this msvc command right after the comments. So they say it's suggested to use, but I think uh, most of the time I've had to use PyTorch C++, I had to use this code block. We're going to copy paste this back and do the same CMake list where we linked our libraries. And we need to change the targets to our demo PyTorch executable. So like that. And we'll same thing here. The last line. I'm going to save it, CMake build, and let's try running. So if I click the down arrow, I can see the exe right here. So I'm going to choose that and then click run. This time. And this time it looks like it ran. So if we click here, or down PyTorch C++ plus, command window. And you look closely. Sure enough, uh, it printed to a screen, a random three by two tensor and that's the tour and that's the tutorial for today guys so next video i'm going to show you how to create a simple neural network uh, and train it using uh, pytorch c++ so stay tuned for that thanks for watching and if you have any questions or concerns go ahead and leave it in the comments below thanks